Welcome everyone. This is part three in our 976 part series of Azeroth Core and you. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna make that many goddamn videos. So today I'm gonna show you how to install a module for your Azeroth Core Wrath of the Lich King WoW server. What is a module? Well, according to Azeroth Core's own website, their wiki here, it says adding a module is an optional step to alter the Blizz-like gameplay offered by Azeroth Core by default. So let's go to their module page. Here it is. I'll be linking this in my installation text and in the comments as well. So it's sorted right now by popularity, the first one being player bots, which we already have and use. There's also transmog here, and you can even do searches, and they're all different. Uh, they're all made by random people, and they do different things to your game. This one will have an auction house bot. I think that means that it'll control your character to work the auction house. Um, challenge modes, I don't know about all this other stuff, but we're gonna install two of them today. And the first one I'm gonna be thorough, and the second one it's gonna be quick. So I just wanna show you the thorough, just so you can go on your own and go find your own and, and figure out how to install them yourself. So the first one we're gonna install is called No Hearthstone Cooldown. And we can type it in by searching the word cooldown. There it is right there. So you just click it. And right here you'll find like uh, information about the module, what it does, and how to install it. Well, instead of reading all this, I'm just going to tell you. On the right side, there's a view on GitHub button. We're going to click that. And it's going to bring us to the GitHub page for this module. And when you get here, um, we're going to wait here for just a sec. What we're going to do is first we're going to log into our Azeroth Core PuTTY server. So let's log in there. I'm logging in. Um, so we want to be in the right folder before we start installing. And that is right here. It's in the modules folder. So I got that change directory to Azeroth Core and then uh, Wrath Lich King modules. Once you're there, now you're ready to start installing. So what you do is on the GitHub page, you hit this green code button. And then there's this link right here. Copy to clipboard. Hit that. Now back at your putty, we're going to type the words git clone, space, right click, then just press enter. And it'll clone it. Okay, that's done. Now we have to compile. That's the difference with modules. You actually have to compile. So let's change directory back, and then we're going to do this compiler build. Now it's, gonna, it's not going to be a full compile, it's going to be a partial, so it should be faster for you. As you see, it just jumped to 72% already. And look at that, it's already done. Look at how fast that was, because we made only one change to it. Okay, after compiling is finished, now we have to copy the config file, and then we have to edit it, see what the options are. So let's go ahead and copy it with the CP line. Now let's edit it with this nano line here. All right, so as you can see, there's only two options for the no hearthstone cooldown module. The first option is enable it or disable it. You would change this to one or zero right here. This would disable it. Um, and then the other option is announce it, inform the player about the module. So if you don't want your server to announce that, you know, people logging in that you have this cooldown add on, set this to zero and save it and restart your server. We'll just leave it on, we'll save it. And then we will stop our server and we'll restart to make sure the changes take effect. And let's log in and see, okay. All right, we're logging in. And there you go on the bottom left, it says this server is running the Noth Hearthstone cooldown module. So let's see if that's true. Let's run over here a little bit and let's press it. Brand new level, well, it says 61, but all right, let's see. Okay, I just hearth. Yep, no cooldown on hearth now. It was that easy. Okay, let's do the next one. All right, this one's gonna be account-wide mounts. We gotta start up here, modules, git clone, that's gonna make the folder. Okay, after git cloning, uh, this is important. This is only for this mod. If you wish to share mounts cross-faction, change the following to limit race equals false. Otherwise, just continue with compiling. Now, we're gonna make a change here. That's why I put a pound sign in here. This is optional. Um, so before we compile, we want to modify the source code to this. So let's do this. Now, this is unique in that we can change this right here where it says limit race equals true. 
we could change this to false. So my orc could ride my alliance mounts and my alliance characters can ride my horde mounts. So we got to change that from true to false. Make sure to know the space after the false. Control O, Control X. Now we're going to compile it. We're going to change directory, compile it. All right, this should be fast too. So when that's done, we'll come back here and check it out. Okay, now that it's done, we have to copy the config file from the .dist to a .conf. Okay, now we're going to check out the modification, what we, what we can change it to. Here's the account mounts module. You can enable it or disable it. Announce the module. Sure, let's, let's announce it when we log on. And then you can ex exclude some spell IDs. Like these are certain mounts you can uh, exclude if you want, I suppose, which is kind of neat. So let's just save it for, for now. And now we have to stop our server and restart it because we just compiled it. Now we got to stop our server and start it for the changes to take effect. So let's type stop, start. Okay, now we should be able to log right in. And right when we log in, it should say, yep, there it is. This server is running the account mounts module. So you can choose to show that or not. Now, I don't have any mounts on this account, but I'll hop on my other account right now and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm on my main character now. Let's go to my mounts. I hold shift and hit P. And um, you can see that I have, uh, you know, horde mounts here. I'm Alliance, I shouldn't have these mounts, but I do, and I can actually mount them. This is a, normally a horde mount. You shouldn't be able to mount that, but because we made that, that change in the source code from the true to false, remember, now we can mount these. If we left it on true, I would not be able to have these right now. So that again is how much power you have here. So what's even interesting, the Traveler's Tundra, check this out. Because it's a horde mount, like these guys are hostile to me, these NPCs on the back, they're not supposed to be hostile. They're supposed to be NPCs that allow you to sell like two vendors on the back, but it's an actual horde mount, so <laughs> they're hostile. I can get rid of them with the uh, eject button. There we go. But yeah, that's, um, that's the uh, module section of the Azeroth Core fantastic open source World of Warcraft self-hosted server software. And boy, if that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is. Thanks for watching.